Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So it is that time of the month again where we talk about all of the things that I've been loving for this month. It is the end of November, which is crazy because that means that Christmas is literally right around the corner and I don't know if I'm prepared for that yet. Um, but Christmas is my favorite holiday of the year. Go figure. Cliche, obligatory, white girl, favorite holiday. Anyways, let's get started with my favorites. Um, I've got a couple of um, skincare favorites, a couple beauty favorites, um, a fashion favorite, and a random favorite. So I'm going to start with the fashion favorites. And the first thing is the on-trend thing right now, which is velvet. And I purchased this um, velvet bomber jacket from ASOS and it is the brand Madame Rage. Um, I got it in a size small but it is this beautiful um, like royal blue velvet bomber jacket and I loved it because um, velvet is super on trend this year this season especially um, and I love velvet but Velvet, you see like in the same things over and over and over again, and a lot of girls are loving the velvet dresses and the velvet this and the velvet that, and don't get me wrong, I love those too, but I kind of thought that this was unique because it was like something I hadn't seen yet, like a velvet bomber jacket. It was just a little bit unique. It's super, super cozy, even on the inside. It's just really cute. Um, I feel like it looks really great with like a pair of black jeans, some black boots, and like a black tank top underneath. And then just like this staple pretty color on top of it. It looks really, really great. Um, kind of sophisticated, but like dressing it up at the same time. Um, so yeah, I think it's really fun. I've been loving it very much and I've worn it quite a few times already since I purchased it. I believe it's still available on the ASOS website and if it is I will definitely link it in the box below. Um, I believe that ASOS is still having their sale right now for Black Friday. I'm not 100% sure but if they are I will definitely link this in the description box down below for you. My next fashion favorite is this ring that I purchased from a new jewelry company I had stumbled across and I absolutely love to death. A lot of their pieces are very, very um, highly priced, um, but some of their pieces are moderately priced. I found this ring and they do it in regular ring sizes and then they also do it in like midi uh, ring sizes. So I bought this really pretty um, heart uh, dainty very very thin um, band here and I've got it as a pinky ring I believe I ordered mine in a size 4 but um, yeah I got this in a uh, size 4 and I use it for my pinky instead of a midi ring and I just love it I feel like it's really dainty it's very cute it's just it's very me so yeah I've been loving that and uh, again the name of the brand is Catbird NYC um, they're just like a, a jewelry boutique in New York City I'm not sure if they're if they have any other stores anywhere else I believe it's just New York City but I could be wrong um, and then my random favorite is this new phone case for my uh, iPhone 7 Plus and it is this really really cute um, what is this called oh it's silicone um, I got this from the Apple store and it is just one of their like app signature Apple cases but this is the silicone version so it like wipes off pretty easily and it's soft and everything like that and it's I don't know what to call this color because I guess it's like a blushy pink, but like more of a muted style. Um, I think they, I can't remember what it's called, um, what the actual color is called, but um, I will leave it in the description box down below. But I really love it. It's a very thin case, um, which is the type of cases that I love. Um, they just fit really easily in like my purse or my pocket. Um, and then they just don't take away from the sleek and thinness of the iPhone itself. Um, so I've really been loving this case. Um, and that's all I've got to say about that. 
And then uh, we can talk about the beauty favorites that I've been loving through this month. The first makeup thing that I've really been loving, which I picked up from Target, this is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I really, really love this. For the longest time, I was a huge fan of the, um, I believe it's the brand Perfect. Uh, they sell it at Ulta and Sephora as well. It's like in a green tube, and it was a uh, tinted brow gel mascara thing just like this except for the wand was a little bit bigger and I loved it because it didn't make my eyebrows crunchy but it kept them like in place so they didn't do like random flyaways throughout the day um, and for the longest time I was a huge fan of that but I was at Target and I was looking for like a drugstore kind that I would really like and I saw this um, from NYX and I picked it up. I'm in the shade Brunette and what I really loved about this when I opened it and took it out of the packaging um, is it's got a very small wand, which I really appreciate because it gets right through those hairs. It's not huge. Um, it just makes it more precise of an application versus like the perfect one. As much as I love that one, the wand is like literally the size of a mascara for your eyes. Um, and it's just so big. Sometimes it's really, it, you can like mess up really easily. So I've really been loving this one because the um, wand is just significantly smaller and it makes it so you get more of a precise application. So yeah, really been loving that. And then the next makeup favorite that I've been loving, which is also kind of like an honorable mention, um, is from a brand I had never heard of before, but I was doing some research online. Um, I'm always loving finding new, cool, vegan, um, organic, cruelty-free brands like Love that kind of stuff. That's the stuff that I always look out for. Um, and I stumbled across this brand called Orglamix. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be totally wrong. I could be butchering their name. But they have um, a pretty huge Instagram following as well. I was checking out some of the, their Instagram feed. And they're pretty popular, and I've never heard anybody talk about them before. So I looked on their website, and one of the first things that I saw that I instantly was like, oh, I need to get one of those. They have eyeshadows in every color of the rainbow and they do them in either a powder form or a cream form and they do them in these little pots and I believe this is like a plastic pot but um they do uh yeah they do two different forms there's like a powdered form and then a um, cream form and I can't remember the exact dollar amount but they it's like a few dollars difference for the powder and the cream the cream is a little bit more expensive um, but I got mine in the shade Hot Chocolate, and it's this really beautiful um, brown uh, hot chocolate shade. <laughs> um, and it swatches really beautifully, but what I really loved about this is that the pigmentation is really, really great. It's very beautiful. It's long-lasting, but what I really loved about it is that the first the first like swipe you do across your eyelid it's very um it's very natural looking it's very soft but you can really intensify it and build it up and it's just a great product i love cream eyeshadows just because it's so simple on my lazy makeup days which let's be honest is like all the time i can just swatch this across my eyelid um, put some mascara on and i'm good to go without having to do like a bunch of eyeshadows and blah blah blah, blah. um so yeah i've really really been loving this i'm definitely going to go on the website and pick out some more colors but yeah i just thought that this was a cool new brand that I had found um, so yeah go and check them out they're really really great they've got a lot of other stuff too they've got makeup brushes and and lip products and all sorts of things so yeah definitely go and give them a look but I would definitely suggest looking at their eyeshadows like literally they have a million colors so yeah definitely been loving that this month and then the last three things that I have are beauty favorites, or more like skin care favorites rather. And this was something I mentioned in my Sephora VIB um, Rouge sale or whatever it was called. Um, and I'm not sure if I've even been using this for a whole month, um, but I am in love with this product already. It's the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. It hydrates and it's anti-aging. Um, I absolutely love this. I've been using it every single night, nonstop, um, and it's I've noticed a visible difference in my skin's texture. 
Um, sometimes I wouldn't say that my skin's dry, but I would say like in certain spots of my face, you could definitely feel like a texture difference, especially like right around here um, in my nose and like cheek area right here. I would notice that there was a little bit of a difference in texture between those areas and the rest of my face. So I definitely have been noticing an improvement in the texture of my face and the hydration of my face as well. I wake up in the morning and my face really feels um, hydrated and fresh and not oily or anything like that. So I've definitely been loving this. Like I've noticed a huge improvement in my face and I'm so glad that I purchased this at Sephora. I would highly recommend it. Now I'm really excited and deeply worried about <laughs> trying all the other Drunk Elephant products because they are a pricey brand, but I can see why everybody loves them so far. So if you've ever tried anything from Drunk Elephant that you think that I definitely need to try, please comment down below and let me know because I am now in love with this brand. So yeah. Um, and then the last two things that I have been absolutely loving are things that I really wanted to talk about. Um, this right here, I was looking at Sephora for a new um, body cream, like a new body lotion, especially because it's, in Florida, it's really not that cold. It's really not. Um, but it is a little bit drier outside. So I love lotions. I always put lotions on, especially right after I get out of the shower. Um, and I wanted something that was a little bit more like thick, a little bit more hydrating, um, just something to like really lock in that moisture. So I picked up this. It had it had good reviews, but it didn't have a lot of reviews. So I feel like this might be a new product or something that's just not really been found. Um, and this is by the brand Captain Blankenship. I had never heard of this brand before, but what really drew me to it was the packaging and all of their other products. It's really unique. It's kind of like a hippie, cool, organic brand. Um, they do stuff like mermaid hair mist and sea salt sprays and all of that stuff. But this is the Captain Blankenship Sunshine Body Cream, and this is in 3.8 ounces. And it came in this really cute box and everything, but um, the top, the lid is just like a plasticky lid and then the container is uh, glass and the product itself is literally a cream it's not like a lotion it's not a I don't know how to explain it it's definitely more thick than a regular lotion would be um, it's a thicker consistency, but it's, I love just, I love the packaging. I like this brand. It's really cute. It says beauty wild with nature, which is just a really cute expression. Um, it says rub generously all over body daily as needed. Good for everyone and everything, including dry skin, pregnant bellies, and eczema. Um, it is a cruelty free, cruelty free brand. It only has a handful of ingredients, which I love. Um, but yeah, it's what it doesn't have a harsh smell. Like you can almost barely smell it unless you stick your nose like right up in it. And it kind of, kind of has a hint of like cocoa or chocolate. It's just, I love it so much. I've been using it after I get out of the shower and I've just been rubbing it on my legs, my elbows, my arms, my chest, my shoulders, everywhere that just needs a little bit more hydration. And it's just been working beautifully and I love it so much. And yeah, definitely going to repurchase this when it runs out, so. And then the last thing that I've been loving is something also a little bit of like the body care thing. And I just recently ran out of like my bath body scrub stuff and I was on the Sephora website again um, and I stumbled across this and this was a brand that I actually really wanted to try and they don't have it in my Sephora I'm not sure if it's like an online only deal or something like that but it's a newer brand and it's called Kopari I believe is how you pronounce it and this is the coconut oil Kopari coconut crush scrub um, but this is recyclable packaging um, cruelty free, sulfate free, paraben free, non-GMO, silicone free, and phthalate free. And sulfate free. I'm not sure if I said that already. This is a amazing body scrub. I've really been loving it. It's 
quite thick in consistency, like to squeeze it out of the tube. I find that I've got to like prop my leg up, put it on my leg, and then like squeeze it out <laughs> into my hand. It's quite a process, um, but it's totally worth it because it's a really great um, body scrub. It's it says, polish your skin to perfection and say hell yes to hydration. This brown sugar scrub is infused with small pieces of Tahitian coconut shell to buff the dry skin right off of your bod. Uh, directions, squeeze out some scrub, -a some scrub and rub-a-dub-dub -dub all over your bod for best results applied to dry skin and rinse. That is interesting. I've not done that yet. I've put it on wet skin. Um, but yeah, I've really been loving this. It's a freaking amazing smell. It smells like sugary, coconutty goodness. It's just amazing. And it has been leaving my skin super, super soft afterwards. So yeah, I would highly, highly recommend this. I think this was like $28, but it comes with a significant amount. It's 6.8 fluid ounces. Um, and yeah, I just think that it's great. So I would definitely check this out if you've never heard of this brand. Um, and I guess that's it for my monthly favorites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do for future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!